I'm Vicki Odell, the Creative Goddess, and I've got a really great and easy home decor project for you to decorate your home for the holidays. We're going to make a mantle swag from a mailbox swag. It's really easy. But first, let me tell you, if you need to know how to cover floral wire with floral tape or to make these little bows, what I call bowettes, you can go to my Facebook page, The Creative Goddess at Facebook, and I have two videos to show you how do I make the little bows, and it shows you also how I cover floral wire with floral tape. So let's get this out of the way. And I wanna show you, this is how greenery, or what I like to call permanent botanicals, this is the way it looks when it comes out of the box and they put it on the peg or the shelf at the, at the store. It's all flat and smushed, and I insist, I insist, I tell you, that you touch each and every branch and kind of fluff it up and make it look more real realistic. If you put out one of these things without fluffing it up, I'm gonna come and haunt you. That's all there is to it. So let me show you one that's already done. And here's one that I have all fluffed up and ready to go. So let's decorate it. I have my bowette and I always decorate any floral arrangement with the bow, well not any, but most floral arrangements with the bow first. And I'm just gonna wire this in and give it a couple of little twists here behind. So I, I put that at about the center and then I'm gonna come in here with the other one just about the center, give a little space. And I'm just taking this to the back and twisting. And then I want to, hmm, I don't think I wanna turn that all the way around. That's what I think I wanna do. All right, so I'm gonna get the ribbon and the bow in here the way I want. And you can just take some of the greenery and give it a little twist around this ribbon. So it kind of looks like it's flowing in there, but then, you know, as somebody walks by the mantle, it won't just blow all over the place, okay? Then I'm going to take some pine cones. And I really, really love the hot glue gun helpers. First of all, I'm protecting my table with this. And then I'm gonna use this little paddle to get some glue and put it on the bottom of this pine cone, right where I want it, and stick it in there. I can also kind of take that glue in there and, and put it in there. I can also kind of put the glue on the bottom of this and just start placing them in and around that bow. Um, I can use this tool to sort of hold it in place if I want. This comes with a few other tools and it's really nice because I've done floral arranging for several years now and I can't tell you how many burns I've gotten. So these are really nice. So I'm just gonna fill in, oops, as much as I want with some pine cones. Now you can use the white pine cones, you can use pine cones that have a little glitter on them. See how I'm getting kind of close into the bow there. I usually put like the bigger pine cones toward the center I can put that one right on the ribbon. And some smaller ones, if I can find them, come out of there, toward the edges. And I can make this as full or as sparse as I want. I can go back in and add some um, Christmas ornaments. Oops. And we're almost, I kind of want this to be a little natural. Nice thing about hot glue is it sets up really quick. Hmm. There, I've got a pair there. Okay. So there you have it. Like I said, if you have a shallower mantle, you can kind of tip it up a little bit. Or if it's a deeper one, it can set flat. This also, as I said, started out as a mailbox swag. So you can take it out to your mailbox and bend it. Whoops to the shape of your mailbox. And there's a little um, hook here at the end that you can use to hook it underneath and you can have a mailbox swag. Really quick, really easy, um, really only a couple of items that you need to make this. I hope you enjoy it and that you'll give it a try. Again, my name is Vicki Odell, the creative goddess. Please be sure to visit me at VickiOdell.com and don't forget to delight in a creative life.